Pick up phone. Noise is calling. Pick up phone. Ha 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 ha. I got you. This is not a serious video. Did you look at the date? You should have seen your face. Seriously, I have a picture right here. Anyways, since today is April Fool's Day, I've decided I want to do something different. That being, talk about something I actually like. Shocking, I know. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about Roblox. Now, Roblox is no stranger to my YouTube channel. I've talked about it extensively before. But I'll be the first to admit that I haven't been too kind to Roblox in the past. I've never played Roblox before in my entire life. Oh, you have to buy the hair? What the hell? That's bullshit. <laughs> This all looks horrible. What the hell is this? Oh my f god, it's like I'm on the app store. Oh, it's all so terrible. Why did I choose to do this? I'm, I'm gonna hate this so much. Who the f is this? How do I turn the f volume down? What in the f What the actual f What the hell is the leave game option? Wow, that was bull that was probably the worst experience I've ever had playing a game. The clips you just saw were from October 2020, when I was only 16 years old. I think it's safe to say that I've become a little more mature since then. <laughs> So, now being 19 years old, as the mature and distinguished gentleman I am, I decided to give Roblox a chance again in 2023, courtesy of my little brothers convincing me to make an account so I could play with them. Kind of funny. And holy moly, I must say, I severely misjudged Roblox. The amount that you can accomplish using Roblox as an engine is actually astounding. There are so many different genres of games, all with different functions and appearances. I'm actually genuinely genuinely surprised that Roblox has this much versatility. It's like one moment you're walking first person through a haunted house, the next moment you're frantically swimming for your life as a megalodon destroys your boat, and then in the next moment you're doing some kind of dare show in the sky and the game's trying to advertise the Super Mario Bros movie to you on floating movie posters. Also, I want to take a moment to appreciate this camera mechanic. You start off in third person and you use the scroll wheel to zoom in until you're in first person. The transition feels smooth and satisfying. I don't think I've ever seen another game do it like this. Anyways, the point is, Roblox is not nearly as bad as I originally perceived it to be. The truth is, I had a negativity bias when I first played the game, so I actively looked for bad traits that I could use to prove my point against Roblox. But it just goes to show that even if you absolutely think you will hate something, it might be worth it to give it a chance. You could end up loving it. Anyways, that brings this video to an end. I hope you all have a silly April Fool's Day. See you later. And I know this type of thought process is going to pop up, so I'll just go ahead and address it here. Play Doors. Okay, well, I did play Doors. And personally, I think Shrek in the Backrooms is better.